I can't believe you tuned in because you want to find out about me. I mean, uh, you clicked on this video because you want to find out who I am. Well, I have a lot to say about that. If you want to find out about me and my move to the United States, please stay tuned. This is going to be a fun video where you'll be learning about me. Just a disclaimer, you decided to tune into this channel, so you decided to click on this video. So if weird stuff happens, this is me. By the way, you guys, just a disclaimer, my dad, um, my late dad, he had a pigmentation thing. You'll notice my neck is darker than my face and my body. That's, I got it from my dad. So just a disclaimer, a lot of disclaimers. With this video but yeah if you want to find out about me um please stay tuned and yeah. hey guys hey guys hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is dandui kimba and welcome back to my channel before I begin with this video, I would greatly like to apologize to you guys. Um, I know that I requested your questions about three weeks ago and it's been two weeks since I filmed the video. I've been out of town and I'm back now. I was with my family. I told you guys in my previous video in my uh, vlog traveling to Atlanta that I was going to be with my family. So it wasn't really that easy to um, film when I was in Atlanta. I made some videos, but it was difficult to edit and and you know I want to respond. I always want to respond when you guys comment on my um, On my videos, so I didn't want to not comment Because I was with family I just really wanted to take the time to be with family and thank you so much for those of you who understand and who have clicked onto this video Secondly, I would love to thank you guys for the 2,000 subscribers. We are on 2,200 subscribers This is the least this is I didn't expect this I never expected it I never expected to have 2,200 and something subscribers in two months and two months and then some I mean I don't take it for granted please do not um, think that you know it's just oh subscribers no I don't take it for granted I know that you guys decided to subscribe to this which means that it is now my responsibility to make sure that there is content for you guys to watch so I greatly greatly appreciate it and I'm just going to get into today's video which is a get to know me video and it's also a video where I address my move and just questions about moving to the United States what it's like for people who are thinking of relocating that type of stuff if you're interested in that please stay tuned today I'll have my laptop in front of me I'm not using any books so nothing will be flying today I'm just going to be looking at questions on my laptop and then I'll be answering them. The first question goes, Hello Dando, my name is Nancy Mama Shani on YouTube. I came across your channel and wow, you are doing well. Thank you so much. Um, I'm inspired. Sorry for just popping up on your inbox, but also a YouTuber, very small. Just wanted to ask, how did you do it? How did you grow so fast in a short space of time small you're a youtuber I think you should just be a youtuber say you're a youtuber and you grow as you you know as you go on my advice so I received advice from somebody and I was telling them that um, I have like five videos or something and they were like no you will grow that's where you start so we all start small I start small everyone started small so those people who are now big were once small youtubers but it's not about that just try and push content I would say push content I'm not um, the person the go-to person for this what I did was I pushed my content I tried to be consistent I haven't been consistent recently I know apologies secondly what I did was every time I post um, I share the link on my whatsapp and I share the link on my Instagram so I share my links on my social media 
that has helped with the views people viewing your video doesn't mean that they will subscribe so um, I think with YouTube you're happier if you have views than subscribers because it's the views that count but if you have subscribers then chances are people will see your video and then they will you know view so it's all about getting those views put it out there be consistent but the first thing that I did was I prayed about it pray about it um, also was um, YouTube decided to promote my video YouTube decided to promote one of my videos that what that was God's hand I had nothing to do with that they just decided to promote a video of mine and I had a lot of um, people watching my video and commenting and hence I got um, subscribers from that so um, it's 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 prayer it's a lot it's a bit of everything prayer consistency um, putting yourself out there don't be shy um, put yourself out there I know it is nerve-wracking but just don't be shy put just put your name out there um, what else yeah just be consistent be confident I think be confident it doesn't have to be perfect it's good that you're doing YouTube and I'll be subscribing to your channel so just do you and push content that is Moving on to question number two question number two says hey I'd like to know if you always use a straightener to curl or style your hair or you have other things that you use okay so um, firstly I do use my straightener but I don't use it all the time um, I didn't have a straightener I did have a straightener but I couldn't use it here due to technology sockets and all of that shebang so I decided to get a straightener about a month ago um, I got a Revlon straightener I, I use my straightener sometimes I use flexi rods on my hair so it, it, it depends sometimes it's a straightener sometimes it's flexi rods right now I'm currently trying to grow out my hair and I know that straightening it is not the best thing I recently colored it and it's just not the 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 the, the root or the route rather that I should be taking um, but yeah I decided to color my hair and this wasn't the question I straighten my hair sometimes sometimes I use flexi rods so that's the answer for that question sorry about that um, hey yes we want to know how you met your hubby what you do for work and how you finding parenting <laughs> um, how I met my hubby um, I will tell you that I met my hubby in South Africa um, how I met him is a story for another day um, if you don't mind secondly what do you do for work I am doing YouTube videos I do not work I recently moved here so I'm still a mom I look after baby I look after our daughter and that is basically what I do for work that's my work I do videos and I am a full-time mom um, how do you find parenting parenting is one day you feel like you have it the next day it's like who's this baby and what's happening here it is great most of the time it's great sometimes it's a bit frustrating when you know you're not sure what's happening and everyone is coming with advice and this and that and that but it's been great i know you guys have um encountered me with my daughter and she was trying not to sleep and i wanted her to sleep and it was just a lot happening and i know a lot of people were wondering why is she ignoring her daughter you know i mean what kind of mom is she she wants to be out here and you know the baby's crying and this and that my daughter does not like to be um constrained or she doesn't want you to be cuddling her when she's trying to sleep she falls asleep better if she's just on her own and she usually tries to fight sleep she actively fights sleep so babies are different um over and above though she's a great baby she doesn't cry for no reason she's just everyone loves her she's super friendly she doesn't cry when she comes across strangers sometimes i'm like girl i mean i spend time with you you should at least cry because i'm your mom and you just met that person but she's like oh okay no i'm just I'm just trying to get to know everyone I mean is there anything wrong with that and I'm like no there's nothing wrong with that but and she's like and then it's like and then blah 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 so yeah par parenting is great 
I'm not going to lie, I miss my mom sometimes because I feel like because it's uh, my first baby, I feel like because it's my first baby, you know, I would love to have her around all the time and just have her teach me things. Just to add on to a little bit of that, you know, my mom told me that whenever you're feeding a baby, uh, because they're enjoying the food, their foot will always move. So every time I see my baby's, uh, our baby's foot moving, I always think, ah, oh, my mom told me that. So yeah, this is not about me and my mom, it's about parenting, but I told you it's going to be weird. Um, and you stuck around, so that's your problem. Um, question number four, how are you adjusting to the weather that side? It's cold. I have been here, or we have been here for five months, and in the five months that we've been here it has been cold 99 percent of that time actually this place is cold atlanta is sun city it's hot it's warm it's sun nigeria it is just the weather has been so much more better in um atlanta if you are somebody who prefers warm weather which i am currently i didn't even know i preferred warm weather this much until i landed this place this place is freezing right now I am freezing but I'm pretending because somebody has to pretend I decided to come here so I mean I can't be feeling cold but it's cold I don't know about the summer we are in the spring it's still cold right now it is 12 degrees Celsius and it's cold it's just it's not dry it's just cold I mean I'm trying to adjust luckily though houses here have um, heating systems great um what's it called heating systems they have great um there's a term that i'm looking for heating system let's just keep it to that um hey dando hope you are well i'd like to know how long your moving process took from visa application etc and costs if you don't mind okay so when it comes to the costs i do not have an accurate cost for everything i'll try to break it down as much as i possibly can and then um you should have an idea of um what to express uh, not express expect process okay so my visa uh took about two years due to covid applied at the end of 2019 and left um south africa towards the end of 2021 so it took about two years applied paid for the application which was about i don't remember correctly 2000 something then it was um we received a, a, an approval around may 2020 but with covid we couldn't travel still so i had to wait again then we did things like police clearances um paying for medicals which was about altogether about nine thousand it's just about say about nine thousand then there was an interview you pay for the interview the interview is about um three thousand as well so it was two thousand something let's say three thousand nine thousand that's twelve then you have another three thousand that's about fifteen then the flights about 15 so that's about 30k then when you arrive the side you also have to pay a thousand for getting your um your your green card um so that's about 45k um in rands in dollars i'll just put it up here i'll calculate it and then i'll put it up here um what was the other question cost so cost about 45 50k just have 50k if you want to just get it done properly this is for the k1 guys i don't know about other um visas i don't know about traveling business or your j1 and all of those types of visas this is strictly for k1 so that's how long mine took uh, i've been hearing people talk about permanent residency or green cards that side can you explain more on that and also are you planning on permanently residing that side or you will one day come settle back in SA with your family. Thank you so much for that question. Um, right now, we are planning on residing this side. We haven't really planned to um, move back to SA because we just literally arrived. Um, we will be visiting SA though. Um, 
then when it comes to uh, permanent residency so if you're a permanent resident you get a green card if you are married to somebody who is a, a citizen of the United States or if you have a little baby if you have a baby and if you if that baby is under 21 years old and also they are not married then they can get a green card and be a permanent resident of the United States that allows you to be able to live in the United States and also you are allowed to work in the United States it's a little bit complicated if you are not um, a citizen let me not say if you're not married to somebody here if you're not a citizen of the country it's difficult for you to be able to get certain jobs and grants and all sorts of things so um, yeah that's basically what green card a green card is a card that you receive if you are applying to be a citizen in the country so you become a, per a permanent resident of that country and that allows you to work and live in the country that is basically it's i hope that answered your question then this one says um hey Tandra, i'm moving to the us with my husband month end we are currently looking for apartments do you know of how the process goes for non-citizen for non-us citizens i heard you need a credit score to get accommodation that side that is true um, the company that my husband works for is only paying for a month's worth of stay then we need to find our own apartments your husband's company will help you, will have to help you with all of that because they need to um, verify that your husband will be able to pay for your apartment. So I'm guessing they will need, um, could be contracts or any of that to just show that your husband will be getting um, income at the end of every month also credit score credit score is everything in the united states if your credit score is bad you're as good as non-existent to people who are trying to give you a loan so just make sure that as soon as you guys get here you get some good um credits you start building your credit so that um um, these different companies or these different places that could give you loans and, 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 and all of that stuff know that you are good when it comes to paying because they need reference that you have you know you, you, you were able to pay your debts in the past and you were good at paying and all those um, type of good things so that that's my two cents I'm not sure but I know that your, your, your husband's company is your best bet with um, this um, particular situation then this one says um, hi Gando I am currently working in ESCOM as a technician planning to move to the States what can you advise mm. you are trusting me with your life and I just told you that I moved here five months ago I'm joking um, I'm just going to give you advice I'm not an expert on any of this just please bear that in mind not an expert but what I would say is that please make sure that you understand what the United States is about you you Google you make sure that you're updated please don't be watching um, these shows that make it seem like you know all fabulous Hollywood Bollywood all of that stuff that's not it it's a normal place you just really have to make sure that you are careful in this country everything comes to bite you if you are not careful so you need to be somebody who is um, responsible I would say because a lot of the things are tracked in this country and you think nobody saw you but somebody did see you make sure that when you arrive here you have some sort of support structure make sure that you have saved up to um, live living costs here are really expensive I'm not going to lie so save up as much as possible understand where you're coming this place is designed for people to be self-sufficient um, hence you'll notice um, at the car at the petrol um, or at the fuel stations um, you full, fill up the fuel for yourselves at the grocery shops you have your own um, checkout points you gotta be somebody who can read and write and understand stuff and you don't constantly need help from people to do things that you are basically required to do um, people here 
are not going to give you a lift people here are not going to try to assist you are here on your own the nice thing though about the united states is that there are so many possibilities and when you grow you do grow the system allows you to grow I feel I this is how I feel I feel like the system allows you to grow if you are here to work hard also the nice thing about being here is that you work hard and you benefit in different ways like you are able to um, lead a better life in your original country if you come here when looking at the rand compared to uh, sorry the, the dollar compared to other currencies like the rand the naira and all these other good um, currencies and all of that stuff so that's my advice to you be prepared be prepared be prepared um it's a little jungle out here don't take it in a personal in a in a in a in a let's move on to the next question sorry um <laughs> The next question says, I'm so curious about the total amount of flights from SA to the United States and which flights do you recommend? Um, okay, flights about 15K in a range is about a thousand dollars for a return flight. That's the average amount. I wouldn't really say that, you know, every flight costs that amount, obviously. Um, in terms of flights, I would recommend Qatar, um, Delta, and United Airlines. Those are the three that I would personally recommend. I'm not sure about everyone else. I flew with United, I've flown with Delta, and I've heard a lot of good things about Qatar Airways. So those are the um, flights. Also, you need to think about whether you want to take a direct flight to the United States from South Africa, or if you want to have layover in different countries. So that's me. And that's the answer that I think is the answer. Shanghai Dando, you never told us what you're doing there, work and all of that. You didn't ask, so I'm joking. Um, I love that question. You didn't tell us. You, I mean, you didn't tell us. So when are you telling us? I'm telling you guys right now. I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom, not home. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I just look after our daughter and my battery keeps dying so I need a new phone clearly um, always interested in knowing why people decide to move do you share this in any of your videos yet um I don't know about other people but I decided to move because of a man I was a problem with my phone a lot is happening but I'm trying to get through these questions as quickly as possible notice that my energy is down I've been struggling so hard to film this video but I'm still trying to go strong um, I'm gonna move on to the next question I'm just I'm demotivated but I'm, I'm gonna push I'm, not, I'm gonna try to get my energy up again um so my family is on instagram if you are interested in meeting them they are not on my channel on this platform um this platform is just uh my experiences platform so i'm not introducing my husband i'm not introducing anybody it's just for um strictly this i hope you guys i thought i was enough for you guys so I'm, i i don't know anymore um um love you girl um you're so beautiful thank you so much um i was just only looking at you and when you're talking you're so beautiful wow thank you so much and i am here to stay sorry to ask how old are you i am 30 years old guys i am 30 i'm 30 i'm 30. um are you a housewife permanently or temporarily who said that who am i saying that who said that housewife I'm not a housewife thank you so much if you think I look like a housewife but I am NOT a housewife never been I'm only a housewife in my dreams so no I'm not a housewife temp permanent zilch none capiche nada I'm joking I'm not a housewife <laughs> okay hey Dia sounds like an amazing experience just a few questions 
questions are the biggest shops we have here also there like your spa and checkers we don't have spa we don't have checkers we only have kfc nando's and mcdonald's those are some of the um, franchises that i've witnessed so far i don't know about um, any other shops maybe some other people know of other shops that are at home but they have places like your tj maxx target um, walmart Kroger's, um, Giant, none of the South African shops. They don't have a Woolworths, they don't have a Checkers, they don't have any of them. Oh, we are on the last question. We've made it to the last question. Um, hello and good afternoon. Blessings, blessings to you. Um, I know you have already made a video about cultural differences, but I'd like to ask, being that there are similarities between South Africa and America, what has been the most difficult adjustment that you've had to make when you moved to America? Um, firstly, weather. The weather has been a huge adjustment. It's been really cold. Um, I haven't been used to that. Secondly, I would say the roads driving on the left or yes, the driver's seat being on the left hand side that has been a huge adjustment then number three financially it's so difficult to be able to do the simplest things here so that has been really difficult because i just convert in my head and then i think this is just not it to get braids done you have to pay about 300 dollars that's like 4500 rands no thank you those are some of the things that are difficult um just lifestyle in general how people think do things here everything is big it's not really an adjustment it's more like a cultural shock like whoa okay that's different but it's mostly just your weather affordability cost wise and also the roads driving on the other side of the road those are some of the things that have been big for me so far in the five months that we've been here then your question continues um and being that i'm interested in having a retirement investment or home in africa wow that's really nice what could be a possible cultural adjustment that a foreigner from america america might mainly have to adjust to if i choose south africa for example okay if you choose south africa um it would have to be firstly you live com comfortably if you're moving from america to south africa um considering the the value and the dollar the, the value of the dollar compared to the rand you your, your conversions will be so much better because it's like times 15 of the amount that you have when you move to south africa currently um so finances you'll be good it could be um language barrier a lot of people just assume if you are if you look african they assume that you can speak isisul that's if you're moving to kzn that would be it secondly it would be um driving as well similar so you'll be driving on the right hand side or the driver's um steering wheel will be on the right hand side be um we um, adapted the British way of driving the British cars so it's on the other side the, the roads are smaller in SA um, what else food wise SA is great SA has great food um, in terms of weather the weather is great however it's not the safest here it's relatively safe i'm not going to lie it's safe here and in south africa you could question that you might make sure you might have to make sure that you have your um your security in check and maybe you you, you know you muscle and bustle i'm joking none of that but you, safety isn't the best in some areas or in most areas in sa then also um what else i'm just answering this question from the top of my head what else um what else what else what else yeah mostly that mostly that driving on the other side oh and another thing that i like here is that shops close really late here they close at around 10 most of them in south africa most shops close at six at malls it's eight is the latest for some shops so that would be like 
a big adjustment if you're working till late but she did say it's retirement so chances are you'll be at home so that is it south africa is great africa is great as a whole um i would say go for it i am all for south africa i am biased it is what it is that type of thing um yeah i think that would be it people are friendly in SA. um you can ask around um so yeah just look into it research it a little bit more but SA is great for retirement it's more slow um, you could actually just get away a lot of people I've been hearing a lot of people saying that they really want to go to South Africa so yeah it's it's a great place to look into if you are interested in buying a retirement home thank you thank you thank you so much guys I've come to the end of this video it has been such a challenge I think I stopped about five times because I was having phone issues if my energy was going up and down please forgive me for that I was just trying to amp myself after I had to delete stuff my phone was dying this and that and that I need a new phone I know you guys deserve good quality um, if you like this video if you have any questions please comment on the uh, comment on the comment section below also please like this please subscribe and please stay tuned for the next video i have a lot of content that i have not edited so that's probably why my phone is giving me a problem because it's like you need to get it out there so that we can also just you know be light on the load that it has so um yeah it's been great um i hope you guys know me a little bit better i noticed a lot of people were just interested in stuff about america not mainly me you guys don't like me what is wrong with that i'm joking it's none of that um thank you so much guys for tuning in um yeah please subscribe thank you so much for the support and i will see you guys on my next video